Hi there, welcome to Northern Embers, my name's Chris. We're heading out into that uh, glen over there and I'll be camping the night there. And uh, this is the first time in my life that I've ever been bike packing. And I've got to say it's been an absolute joy, uh, especially on a day like today. I understand from watching a lot of videos about bike packing that you might want to go light. <laughs> and I've done the opposite today. It's quite a heavy uh, ride that I'm doing. Uh, I've got a lot of gear, really. I always do that, I always take too much. My bike itself is quite heavy. It's a mountain bike and I myself am quite heavy because I've been eating too much. So uh, I've learned a lot of lessons on this journey and that's what it's all about. And I'm really, really enjoying it. And I've actually made some really good time and got some quite good speed. And I understand that my speed to a lot of other people is a lot slower, but predominantly all I ever do is walk and uh, so even if I traveled at twice the speed of walking I'm traveling fast so I've been e doing even better than that. Uh, I wish I had a water bottle on the bike I've got it in the in the saddle pack there uh, other than that pretty good I've got boots on because of the nature of what I'll be doing out there in the woods. Thanks for being here I think we'll get cracking along. Somewhere in those woods will be uh, home for the night. I'm thinking up that end there, maybe slightly out into the open or on the edge of the wood or, or even in, we'll see what we can find. Well, it's not a very big woodland. You can see the, the extent of it. We're on an angle and uh, that's just a lot of rubbish everywhere. I mean, look at that. But uh, that is going to be home for the night, I think. So I'll start getting uh, the ground cleared there and uh, I'll set up my tarp there, I think. <laughs> fiendishly brilliant day and uh, that's the sleep system set up. It took me three hours to get here to this woodland actually. This was absolutely brilliant. Uh, we're getting on in the evening now, it gets dark about eight and it's time to get some dinner on the go. I'm going to need to find uh, some kind of tinder or fire lighting material. Uh, seems to be two types of wood in this woodland, larch and scots pine. I've seen some moss in the trees but I don't know if that's damp or not, we'll have a look. So I'm going to get some wood and we'll get dinner on. It would seem I'm not alone. So that's the way that we traveled in. And I'm in this little woodland. But that's just the backdrop. I mean, that's nice. Sheep's wool on the barbed wire here. We'll maybe take some of that and see if that's any good for fire lighting. Okay, uh, I've got the fire going and I use my 
ferro rod in my knife and unfortunately I thought I'd press record and it didn't. So I used dry grass, lichen and the sheep's wool. Well the sheep's wool's gone now. But I've just got that. Okay. Hmm. Once it goes it really goes. And then I just put lots of little twigs on top and things like that. Uh, for dinner tonight, we have a gin and tonic. <laughs> That's when things started to go slightly wrong, like not, not pressing record. Uh, I've got an onion and I bought some sausages that were described as American style large hot dog sausages. Uh, we shall see because they just look like normal sausages to me. Maybe slightly bigger than usual. Sausages and the onion uh, into my squashed rolls, which have been in my bag, and they've been buttered, and I've got some American mustard. So I'm just going to let that flame die down a wee bit, cut my onion, and uh, we'll start cooking. Well, I'm going to be entirely honest with you, I don't remember it ever being this peaceful here. It's not a breath of wind. It's just so calm. So quiet up here. The dinner was good. And uh, the darkness is coming. And I'll be going to bed soon. And, uh, yep, we'll get up in the morning and do some breakfast. Now, for those of you that are new to the channel, uh, I like to eat. I like to cook in every video, and uh, yeah, I need to start maybe doing it a bit healthier, to be honest. But uh, uh, it's a three-hour journey here, and probably I don't know one and a half back tomorrow because it's mostly downhill. But I'm beat, I'll tell you. But uh, what a beautiful day! So yeah, good night, and I'll see you in the morning. Yeah, I got a lot of shavings there. I'm just gonna feed that fire basically until she goes. Okay, that's the twig burner going now. Uh, it's time to get the brew on. Uh, just had to make my own tinder this morning. Everything's damp, the moss, the grass, everything that I used last night is, is, is gone. It's too wet. And uh, so I just made some wood shavings and got the ferro rod to that and got the fire going.
Okay, that was home for the night, so just in the throes of packing up and get breakfast on, and then uh, we'll go. Just going to break the eggs up so this cooks a bit quicker. Uh, they're going to get stuck to the bottom anyway because I, I spilt the oil last night so I'm really using the, the fat from the bacon here. Fantastic! Uh, I've still got my coffee. Breakfast is ready. Breakfast and lunch, <laughs> let's just say that. Going to have this, have my coffee, let that burn down, let it cool down. I'm nearly packed up and then we'll get on the road. Great, well, first of all, thanks so much for joining me. Uh, that's my trip over now, we did the overnighter. Uh, absolutely magnificent, I have to say, for that place up there. It's the quietest night I've ever had in my life. I never heard a, a, a single anything. No car in the distance, nothing. It was just so still and pitch black, absolutely black in there, in that forest, so really, really nice. I had about an eight hour sleep. Uh, I was in, under the tarp for about nine hours, so it was brilliant. I've learned a lot of lessons since I've come out. Uh, this morning, the first fire I tried failed, and with that I tried to take shortcuts for the second fire, and that failed, and I used a lot of battery life up. Uh, so the third fire, I made my own tinder. Everything was kind of covered in dew this morning, so the uh, lichen and the sheep's wool, whatever, was, was, was moist anyway. So, but we managed to get a coffee, we managed to get breakfast and lunch out of that. Uh, the tarp worked really well, the air got in there, it wasn't a particularly cold night, there was no dew inside there but the ground sheet got the dew and of course I used that to wrap my sleeping bag up in so that's something to think about. Obviously if I brought out a gas cooker and some gas, uh, some packet risotto, uh, cooking would have been a lot easier, a lot quicker, probably lighter as well but uh, all in all I came out here to have some fun and I, and I have. I couldn't have asked for two better days, it's been absolutely perfect. I've actually just ridden into some mist here, but it is going to be a clear day again. So I, I forgot to bring my microphone, so there's a little bit of wind noise here and there. Uh, even though it's been relatively still, but it's, it's difficult. So anyway, thanks so much for taking the time to watch my first bikepacking video, so cheers.